Hi, Jeff Higley with HotelNewsNow.com with Mike Levin, the President and COO of Las Vegas Sands. Mike, thanks so much for taking the time to talk. You're welcome, Jeff. Nice to be here. Mike, let's first talk about Las Vegas Sands and the global imprint uh, that it's made uh, during the last decade. Can you give us an overview of what's going on there? Well, I think, I think Sheldon's, Sheldon Adelson's vision was to bring gaming and integrated resorts outside of the United States, uh, going to Macau and then going to Singapore. Uh, which now the Macau uh, environment as well as Singapore represents about 90 percent of our EBITDA today and we're only in the United States in Las Vegas and in uh, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Although uh, those businesses together represent a four to five hundred million dollar business in and themselves. So uh, I think his vision was to put these kinds of properties up which were not just gaming centers which represent about two percent of the space in our integrated resorts but these full-service convention, meeting, shopping, entertainment facilities that had not been seen before around the world. And, and his ambition and his vision and our ability to execute is really putting us in a position where uh, we can go now to other Asian countries as well as in Europe. It's interesting the whole integrated approach. In in Macau, you have a Four Seasons Hotel as part of the. Uh, it's uh, and we do have a, a complex uh, where we have Sheridans, Holiday Inn, Conrad's, uh, and our own Venetian, of course, and our own Sands as well as the Four Seasons. So we have a mixture of, of brands as well as our own brands. Well, we announced today that we're opening uh, uh, Site Five, which involves a. Uh, a very large Holiday Inn, which is the largest Holiday Inn, with the exception of Moscow, which is under construction, about 1,200 rooms and suites, and uh, and the largest Conrad, 600 rooms. They'll open on April 11th of this year, and the Sheridan will open 2,000 rooms in in the end of the September, and then another 2,000 rooms in January 13. So, do you have plans to grow elsewhere in the states? Yeah, I, I think the potential for us in the United States is re pretty limited because. Uh, there aren't a lot of places where you can put an integrated resort of our size and our financial investment and get a return. Now, New York is, is have, there's a little noise in New York now, and, and uh, we're going to take a look and see if we can put something on the, uh, maybe uh, in the Manhattan and, and be able to do, maybe uh, do something with Javits and us and a big place and put a, put a complex in there. If the governor wants it, we, we'd be interested in doing it. What, the, what does it mean that, that the, the, the gaming centers, centers is the wrong word, but the gaming uh, uh, facilities are popping up across the country? These state governments are looking for tax revenue. And our business is different. We do integrated resorts, we produce tax revenue, but we produce jobs, we produce uh, tourism, uh, and, and mice business and all that. So when we go to countries like Japan or Korea or Vietnam or even in Spain where we're talking about now. That's our pitch. Mm -hmm. So what's your prognosis for or outlook for Vegas? How's, uh, how are things shaping up for the city itself as a destination? Uh, it's busy, but the rates, the rates are still 25% below what they were in 06 and 07. And uh, uh, it's going to be a long time catching up because you've got a big supply of the high-end rooms. And it's still a battle. It's a battle for market share. But you wouldn't know going in there when there's a convention season or when you go in on the weekend, you think everything is great because there's tons of people. But if you get tons of people not at the right price, it doesn't help you very much. Mike Levin, President and COO of Las Vegas Sands, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Always nice to talk to you. My pleasure.